what is up you guys it's your girl the real mrs j and i wanted to start this video a little different from my other videos um tragically uh on friday my friend uh for which you see her picture right here um she was killed by her boyfriend 25 years old two small kids sweetest person you could ever meet i mean if you were to meet her and have met her in person you would know that she is just like this sweet positive person believed in the lord and you know she was tragically shot to death multiple times by a damn demon so i wanted to put this picture up of, of the number to the domestic violence hotline uh, if you know anybody or you, if you yourself are going through a domestic violence situation, get help. It's not your fault. Um, I know a lot of women deal with battered women's syndrome. Um, I am a, a survivor of domestic violence. I never say that I am a victim. I am a survivor um, because I fought my way out. Um, but everybody is not that uh, that that blessed to or that strong to fight your way out of a situation like that so i would just strongly suggest if you know anybody that's going through any domestic violence situations please give them this number to get help because there is help out there there are shelters there there are programs in place to help uh domestic violence um victims so anyway you guys uh just wanted to come on here real quick to uh, talk about uh, Krishan and uh, the fact that Krishan just got baptized on yesterday um, and it looks like she may be headed back to LA. Um, so I'm gonna show this quick clip and then I'm gonna come back with my commentary. So you guys, I think that when you give your life to the Lord or you rededicate yourself to the Lord, I'm, I'm going to always be for that. I'm always going to be on the side of, you know, trying to do the right thing. And uh, Krishan has found herself wanting to do better with her life. And I can see that. I can see that. I have my drawbacks of, you know, how I feel about certain situations, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm not going to down anyone that's trying to do the right thing. And that's just what it is. Um, my only concern is, is that the fact that, uh, she is going back to LA and the question of the day is, is she strong enough to go back into that environment where there's a lot of drugs and partying? Um, I personally don't think that she has been gone long enough. Um, you know, I kind of wish that she could have stayed in Oklahoma for, you know, a little bit longer just until she got herself strong enough to deal because going back into going back to LA uh and being around, you know, her so-called friends, I don't think that there's really anybody left for her to be around. Cause everybody else has been like, they're not dealing with her anymore. Um, the only other person that I can see that her dealing with is Smiley. And, um, I don't know. I, and Papa Blue, I just don't feel like they are in a place where she's at. And I feel like she needs to be surrounded by like-minded people. Um, so I mean, I, I can see like if LA is home and you know, she really doesn't have the means to continue, you know, to find another place or to keep paying for hotels. I get that um, because she does have to move on with her life. 
However, I just don't feel like she's going back into the right crowd, if that makes sense. But anyway, you guys, y'all tell me what y'all think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, The Real Mrs. J. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace. Thank you.